What is up all my friends and family from YouTube? Today we are in the garage and I came through and put the four pore boost control solenoid on that I told you I was gonna do. Um, here is the non-name brand, Mac. Uh, four port boost control solenoid, part number. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It's a 46 amp, so it usually says 46 in the beginning, but it is uh, 46A. AA1JDBA something something something. Um, you guys can find these on the internet. They're 50 bucks, not 100 bucks like the Honda, um, or I should say the Hondata for port boost control solenoid. Pick your poison if you want to support those guys, that's fine. Um, me, I'm on a budget, so. Uh, I got this one and it's all hooked up, but I basically ran all of the uh, fuel line that I used because it's thicker underneath of my um, housing here for my headlight down through my radiator support down to my wastegate. Um, I didn't hook up the uh, supply boost vacuum line yet just because uh, I ran out of vacuum line, but I tapped a quarter inch. Um, it is a eighth MPT tapped uh, threaded barb rather um, and I tap that right into the charge pipe for the intercooler and that'll come over and feed right into this barb here. Um, I've put up a description on how to actually plumb it up where those different lines from the wastegate go. But essentially the video is to show you, one, how you can do it in your car, and um, just because sometimes it it helps watching a video to figure out where you want to put your four port boost control solenoid. But I put mine here on the driver's side inner fender, and I just drilled two holes, put a piece of wire through there, and then spun the wire with my drill on the back and tightened it up real nice against that uh, inner fender. Then I took my wire, which is 18 gauge, which one thing I do do is I change the wire gauge from, it looks like 20 gauge, and I change it over to 18 gauge. A little bigger, it lasts a little bit longer, and then I take the top of this Mac solenoid off, and there's two little prongs that stick up. One's going to be your A25 wire, and one's going to be your um, A11 wire. And I basically just shove the wires straight down on these two prongs, through the hole in the top of the uh, top of the guy that I drill out, I put epoxy there. That way, these wires don't rattle off. And then I run them right into these wires, which I run in a drill and spin them up all nice and tight. And then I run them through the um, hole for my cruise control, straight through my firewall. That's where all of my wires have gone so far. including my boost gauge um, boost line. So once all of that is together, the next thing you wanna do if you have Hondata is you wanna go ahead and put your key in position two, start up Hondata. This is my wife's computer. That's love, right? Um, and then you wanna to go to online. Once you're here on online, Test the output. Should be able to hit PWN. Variable. Get rid of this. I already hear, heard it click once, but if you put this to a duty cycle, you can hear it clicking. So just to zoom in and see what I did there, you go to online at the top of the page, then to test output, and then test PWM, which is part with modulation for your boost control solenoid variable and you set your percentage to about 15 and you remove the frequency hertz and what that does is it pulses your boost control solenoid just the way your ecu is done and you can hear that and feel it that it's working properly which is great for me because i was the one that soldered in the pwm kit which happens to be ten dollars off of ebay um which was phenomenal. I got $50 for the boost control solenoid and then 
Now I got boost by gear. That's me and my wife. I look like a chimp. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, I got all that stuff situated and we're good to go here. Um, put the wide band on, which I can show you that real quick. This video is getting longer than most videos should go. And at this point, I'm like, screw it. If you wanna watch, you're gonna watch. But I hooked up my blow off valve vacuum line goes to my intake manifold. Three inch exhaust going all the way back here, my dump tube. I have my wide band, which I probably said wastegate earlier, but I hooked up my wide band. Um, and you want your wide band to be at least 24 inches away from the collector of your headers so that your wide band lasts more than a couple weeks um, due to EGTs. Here is my cutout, boost cutout. I ran all of my um, vacuum lines up here to my intake manifold and uh, at this point all I have to do is an oil change and I gotta get the piece of vacuum line to go to my boost control solenoid because I didn't hook up that one side. The big thing is I wanted to show you how to test it and I wanted to show you guys where I plumbed it um, just so you can get some ideas. But other than that guys, I am about to get cleaned up for the day. Uh, Labor Day is fastly approaching and I'm tired of laboring. So, um, till next time, see you later.